the album cover <laughs> was definitely a bold statement exactly what that record did a punch you know to society like you know check this out <laughs> We wanted it to be a street, like a street fight. I remember Dime taking a picture of a face and putting it on his dad's copy machine and taking the face as it was copying and moving it so it blurred across like, like the cover does. To me, it made sense that album cover to have a guy getting punched in the face because I knew what a hardcore boxing fan Phil was. First thing they brought us were all these pictures of these boxers fighting each other. It's like, no, oh, okay. that's not what we're looking for. That's not what vulgar display of power is. It's yeah. some guy getting jacked on the street. They wanted a, a hand, a fist, hitting a long-haired guy. And at that time, uh, long-haired models were extremely popular. I was calling everybody frantic. I was even considering going out and casting it off the street. Some guy off the street and... Uh, Just a dude yeah, off the street? A dude off the street, man. The label. At the last second, I know Ford Model Agency called me and just said, hey, we have a long-haired model coming from L.A. You know, and he came in and he was perfect for the, the shoot. His name was Sean Cross. We ended up becoming very good friends, best of friends. He was actually one of the groomsmen in my, my wedding, actually. I guess it turned out to be an actual punch that was captured from somebody. The man on the cover was paid $10 a punch and was mm -hmm. hit in the face 30 times to get the right picture. 31 times. <laughs> 31 times. According to Vinnie Paul, the man on the cover of Vulgar Display of Power was paid $10 a punch he was hit in the face 31 times. This is one of the most widely 32 disputed. 32 times. 32. Yes. Yeah, the guy, he got hit a bunch. 31 times, that's $310. 310 bucks. Uh, I've heard the stories, and people have asked me many, many times, but that's not what happened. <laughs> it, was, it was a professional photo shoot. He was pushed quite hard, actually, because I really wanted it to look physical. So he was pushed really hard, you know, each and every time, but he was never punched, per se. I shot the album cover in color. I remember getting the film back and looking at the chromes on the light box and just going, wow, these are gorgeous. So I was kind of shocked later on, months later, when I actually saw the album cover and saw it in black and white and that they even kind of pixelated it. Personally, I, I thought it would have been better in color. 